Let's go medley type thing. I dug out the old Go Find 40. I brought this metal detector over to Germany oh, probably four or five years ago and I left it with my mom because I thought whenever I come over I've got a detector in Germany which I can use. So now I can give it a try out here on the beach. I'm looking forward to it. What do you reckon guys? Plenty of room over here to swing a metal detector? <laughs> The go find still looks brand new with the foil still on the display here. Is it on? Okay, it's working. Oh, signal just here? No, not yet. All right, let's start detecting. Not even rough terrain compared to the bush in Australia. But yeah, no targets yet either. Well, the good news is it seems to be a pretty clean beach. Not one single target yet. That's good news. And I brought a bag so I can put all the rubbish in there because I expected heaps of uh, beer bottle tops and yeah, just general aluminium rubbish, I suppose. Nothing yet. But yeah, maybe it's because I'm not in the right area. Oh, is it something? Could be something. Definite signal. First target of the day. So it could either be a ring or a ring pull or a little coin. We'll find out. How exciting. My first target I'm digging in Germany. Please don't let it be a ring pull. I probably should have brought a better digging tool for this. It's actually going quite deep by now. I should have brought a proper shovel. But I sort of expected um, surface targets. Plus with the old gold find here, I didn't even think that it would go that deep. We'll keep on digging and see what it is. That's pretty deep. Pretty deep and still in the hole. And the shovel... Oh. Oh. What the heck is this? We got it. Whatever it is, we got it. Oh, don't tell me it's a bullet. No, I don't think it's, oh, it's a battery. It's half a battery, I think. Because a bullet should have uh, engravings on the side and not a plastic cover. That's plastic there. First find of the day. And actually quite deep. That is quite deep. That's almost the full length of the scoop here. So up to here. Quite a deep target with the Go Find 40 here. We'll keep on looking. So before I uh, get my jumper all dirty and sandy, 
I'm just quickly going to show you what it looks like. Ta-da! Outback Gold Fever Jumper. The first one that came out of the production. What do you reckon, guys? I love it. I've been wearing this for a few weeks now, testing it, washing it, and I gotta say, I'm very impressed. So this edition is gonna go into production very soon. I'll let you know when it's available. There will be other t-shirts for women as well, so they are nicely cut and other items as well. Long sleeve shirts, crew neck uh, jumpers and just normal t-shirts as well. Sorry that you have to wait and I can enjoy this already. I love it. How cool is that? Let's keep on detecting before the sun disappears on us because I'm not going to be out here in the dark. onto a good spot here because I've got the second signal already not far from the first one same symbol again it's the one with the ring but it could also be a ring pole If it's trash, I want to get it off the beach. Really got to bring a bigger shovel next time. This little thing is ridiculous for what I'm doing here. But I really didn't expect deep targets like this. Oh, is that it? I think so. It's all rusty soil coming out here that's where it came out of popped it out with the shovel this dirt is not clean like you can see it's all rusted out from whatever this is looks like a big chunk of folded metal rubbish but yeah at least i'll take it off the beach and put it in the bin where it belongs as usual we're gonna fill in the hole oh maybe I should check it first there's nothing there I'll fill it back in okay so where are the coins and where's the, all the jewelry mind you if I find anything worth over 15 Australian dollars I gotta hand it in anyway because that's the law in Germany We're onto another signal here. Didn't take long. So it could be something good. It's that symbol with the big coin here on the right hand side corner. Getting closer. Oh, that's a bit rusty just there. Maybe I got it out already. Yeah. Here. <gasps> it's a coin. Is it? Is it a copper coin? <gasps> we got a coin. That is exciting. It looks like it's been there for a very long time. And I can tell it's copper because of that green staining here on the side. I just didn't bring any water at all. How exciting is that? Oh, I can see. What can I see? 50? 50 cent maybe? 
I honestly don't even know what the 50 cent coin looks like at the moment. I haven't really used much cash to be honest, so what does a 50 cent coin in Europe look like? 50 euro cent maybe? But it's so crusty. That is a 50 cent coin. 50 euro cents. Well, I can't see a year on it yet, but I'll give it a proper wash when I get back home. And then we might see a bit more of this beauty here. Awesome. First coin. Loving it. With the Go Find 40 here. Cool. First coin of the day. Lovely. I'm taking that. So pretty cool. All three targets were in one straight line. First, second, and now the third one here. I'm glad I dug it. Yeah, the symbol was on the very far right hand side there with a big coin on it. Oh, I should check it before I fill it back in. See, I haven't done this for a while. <laughs> I forgot to check my hole before I fill it back in. Oh, nothing. Picking up a few pieces of plastic rubbish and this seems to be an old mask. I'm a bit grossed out, but I don't want to leave it here at the beach either. Disgusting. Can't see a bin. Oh, that's gross. I'll put it in my pocket anyway. Come on, universe. That deserves a two euro coin, doesn't it? gonna walk to an area where there was a beach party last week. How do I know? Because I was there. There were a lot of people there and I bet one or two of them would have lost some coins. I'll have a look anyway. bag. That used mask is grossing me out. Gross. And this is where the party was. Nobody here anymore. I'm gonna give it a go over here. There are probably heaps of bottle tops and ring poles around here, but we'll give it a quick try. Oh, it's a good signal. Far right hand side. That's what brought us the 50 cent coin. Here. Oh, it's one of those round tent thingies. Could have come off a tarp as well. We're onto another signal here, far right hand side of the screen again. Oh, I'll dig it. Oh, I can see it. Just a bottle top. Well, it's a golden one, but unfortunately not gold. What did they drink? Mm. Looks like something fancy. <laughs> they had shots. Knock me. So you knock it on the head. 
undo the lid and then you go Everything's only shallow around here It's probably because this party was not long ago What have we got here? Foil I was just gonna dig this hole here but I forgot my scoop at my previous hole Okay, the detector's just there Look, the wind already blew over it You can hardly even tell that I dug there How do you like my office today, by the way? We're coming down into a dark layer here Weird Oh, it's out Oh, it's rubbish. Just a deformed ring pull, I think. Seems to be an older one, because I dug it out out of quite a bit of depth, which is not a surface target from only a few weeks ago, from the last party here. So in Germany, it's the case that you can't just detect randomly wherever you want. There are certain rules and yeah, licenses you gotta obtain. And here in my area, it is the case that they don't even offer these courses at the moment because of COVID. Good excuse still in 2022. So they stopped handing out these licenses two and a half years ago. It's a six day course to obtain a license. So two days, you gotta go through the theoretical stuff. Then you gotta spend one day with the munition disposal unit. It does happen that people dig up old ammunition from the wars so it is quite dangerous if you ram your pick into one of those and it could still be a live one because it happens quite often that those live ammunition is still being found bombs and all that they also don't want you to destroy things that could be archaeological and have worth you got to do this course it's two days of theory one day you got to spend with the uh, ammunition guys and then three days with your own metal detector out in the scrub and then you got to learn how to report these finds that could be worthy anything that's worth over 10 euros which is about 15 Australian dollars you can't keep you got to hand it in if it's something archaeological it's going to the museum <laughs> because metal detecting is uh, turning more and more popular all over the world they decided to do an exemption for the beaches at least in my area you are allowed to look um, for things with a metal detector at the beach but not in areas where the water comes up and down because it's pretty tidal around here water goes up and down twice a day so you can only search in the loose sand but not too close to the dunes either because all this is national park so i am very restricted here at the moment but still loving it having heaps of fun around here but yeah, I just wish I could go into the forests as well because yeah, it would be very interesting to swing a metal detector around there and look for relics. Maybe on my next trip to Germany they will offer these courses again and if not, I'm just gonna go to Scandinavia for example or maybe Amsterdam for some magnet fishing because not even that you can do in Germany. You can get jailed for doing magnet fishing in Germany. I'm just gonna spend some more time at the beach here. Hopefully we'll find some more interesting things and if not, at least I got rid of some rubbish around here. That looks like another knock me lid. Yes. Somebody had quite a few shots at this party. It wasn't me. Old cable tie. I'll take that with me. So the rules apply uh, for the northern half of Germany. I'm not too sure what it's like in other parts. Maybe I could do a six day course uh, in a different state of Germany. Um, I'm not sure about that. Bit of a different scenery compared to the outback in Australia. But very, very pretty. People looking at me because I'm talking to a camera. Okay, I'm gonna turn around so I don't see them. Oh, signal. Oh, it's one of those big coins again here on the display. Oh, no. Yes. There it is. Rusty whatever it is. 
crusty old bottle top. Really crusted out. I'll take it with me. Well, I'm glad they finally banned these. That'll go in the bin. And by the way, my battery is going flat, but I'm gonna show you the finds when I get back home with a fresh new battery. And by the way, I'm getting quite hungry because it's past 8 p.m. Look at the sun. Only a few weeks ago, the sunset was at 9.30. So it's a lot later already. We're coming into winter here in Germany, which is gonna be the time when I head off again to get back to Australia. My parents backyard that really was an awesome day out there and i really enjoyed the different scenery as well isn't that something different to the normal outback bush country that i usually operate in i'm very happy about the performance of the old go find metal detector it's actually discontinued they don't make it anymore and i haven't even used it all that much but the performance at the beach was really overwhelming i think because it wasn't an expensive detector and my lab is actually bringing out a new one, the Manticore, so that would be interesting too to see how that goes. But I think in the future I'll leave my Equinox in Australia and I might upgrade to a different one, which I can use here in Germany. But for now I'm very happy with the old Go find. Let's have a closer look at the finds. Four lids, three shotgun glasses and one that I don't know. Plenty of aluminium rubbish, ring pulls, a button, of course some foil, the plastic rubbish I already discarded, this thing here. This thing here, I originally thought it could have been a battery, but I got rid of all the sand inside and out came a piece of glass up there and also this tiny piece here. So I'm actually thinking this might be a light bulb pretty big one and I'm not sure what it's doing at the beach but it's not there anymore I'll put that in the bin and my best find a 50 euro cent coin I still can't see the date on here I tried to rub it and scrub it but unfortunately I can't read a date on this one but just by looking at it I know it would have been sitting there for quite a few years Unfortunately, the weather has changed a bit. It's all gray and dark and rainy. But if the weather improves during the next few days, before I fly back to Australia, I will do another beach detect. So I'd be looking forward to that. I'm just not too sure about the weather because I don't want to be out there at the beach in the rain and in a thunderstorm. Yeah, I'll be here for another few days before I catch my plane again and fly back to Australia. I loved it over here and I can actually imagine that next year I might stay a little bit longer and then also do a few more treasure hunts and maybe even go to different countries and different areas where it's a bit easier to swing a metal detector because in this area here like I said it's very hard to obtain those licenses and it might just be a little bit easier in other parts of the world or other parts of Germany. So I'm looking forward to that but I'm also looking forward to heading back to Australia and detect for gold nuggets again. If you enjoyed today's hunt, I'd love to know about it in the comments. Stay safe out there. I'll see you in the next one.